this next tutorial, we'll use model predictive control to optimize the flight controls for an aircraft. In this case, we have three states. Uh, here is going to be the X naught. That's going to be our angle of attack. And then our X1, that one is our pitch angle. And that one is in radians. And then X2, that is our pitch rate. And that one is in radians per second. So we have these ordinary differential equations that relate to how we can change our tail flap or our aileron flap. You'd have slightly different equations for that. Um, so how you can adjust that angle to affect the angle of attack, the pitch angle, and the pitch rate. Now we have a scenario where we're initially at an angle of attack of 0 0.4655, but our pitch angle and our pitch rate are both at zero. And we want to arrive at this final condition. So at the very end, we want all of those to be zero. And we want to do that in a minimum amount of time. And we're going to do that by adjusting a sequence of these tail angles the W or the aileron angles. Now, we're gonna set this up as a model predictive control problem. It could run repeatedly on the aircraft to be able to optimize a sequence of moves given an update in terms of position or pitch or pitch rate. So you're gonna have some model mismatch here, but these equations are derived and they're unique for every aircraft. So you wouldn't wanna apply these to all aircraft, let's say. Okay, so we have this aircraft all right and we are going to adjust the angle w or here on the tail the w here okay um, and we're going to try to achieve this final condition right here uh, with a sequence of moves of w in minimum amount of time so let's go ahead and do this with python gecko and I'll just walk through the code with you. So we're first of all going to import Gecko. And then we'll also import NumPy as MP. And then we need matplotlib as well to visualize the solution. Okay, so let's keep going. We're going to create a new Gecko model. I'll say remote equals false. So I'd solve locally instead of over a remote server. And I'll have my time points. I'll go from zero to one, and I'll show you how to set that up so we can take our time final and then use that to try to minimize the final time. So I'm gonna set that initially equal to five seconds. So I'm gonna give it five seconds to make that move. I'm gonna say lower bound of one, upper bound of 10. Status on means that the optimizer can min adjust it. Okay, I'm gonna minimize time final divided by n, that's the number of time points. And then I have the angle of attack, the pitch angle as well, as well as the pitch rate. Okay, and then I'll define those three new variables with a gecko array, and those are gonna be variables, three of them with value zero, lower bound negative one, upper bound one. I just put some bounds on those just to keep them within reasonable values. And I'm gonna adjust the initial condition for the angle of attack to 0.4655. Now our control signal is gonna be the aileron angle or the tail angle, however you want to define the equations for your aircraft. And then I'm gonna have zero, lower bound uh, zero, upper bound one. Now even though that's different here on the right, I've just transformed the equations to make it so it's zero, one, just shifted them. Okay, so the equations are gonna be slightly different here uh, just because of that substitution for the modified W value and its definition. Okay, so zero is gonna be the lower bound, one will be the upper bound. And you can see the equations there. Anywhere there's a W, you're gonna see a modified version of the equation. Okay, so here we go for the next line, we've got negative uh, 0 0.215. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put in the transformation here with the KSI.
Okay, so there's my there's my final e equation for the first one. Okay, just finishing off the last term here. All right, and then I'm going to go on to my next differential equation, and that one is just going to be the, the pitch angle rate is going to be equal to, uh, sorry, the pitch angle derivative is going to be equal to the pitch angle rate. And as you can see here, I also have, you know, divided by TF. And I do that so that I can optimize the final time. So at, up top, I define that as between 0 to 1. But if I put in, take all of the derivative values and divide those by the final time, then it's going to optimize um, the final time and adjust the final time window for me. Okay, so let me go ahead and complete this last equation. Again, anywhere you see W, it's going to just have a substitution there just to transform it to 0 to 1. Okay, and then I'll finish off this e third equation, the third differential equation. And then I'll work on defining the other parts of this problem as well. So I have all of the differential equations now. And now what I want to do is go ahead and fix the final point. I want to fix the final for x0, x1, and also x2. I'm going to fix those at a value of 0 each. And then I have some options as well. The I mode is going to be 6. That's going to be dynamic optimization. The solver is 1. That's the APOP solver. And then I also have the maximum number of iterations is 1,000. All right, I'll set the cold start equal to zero. Now, if you wanted to try to get an initial uh, guess, initial solution, you could just leave that out. Uh, if, especially if you had cold start one, you could put that in there. I'm gonna create a final time vector because I have a TF, that's gonna be an adjustable value. And I'm gonna multiply it by my zero to one for m dot time. And then I'm gonna create a figure. All right, so as this is completing, let me go ahead and just run the code. Okay, I've got the final one right here, just with all of the, um, okay, the final plot there. And I'll go ahead and run this, and you'll be able to see the final solution here. And I'm just working on that final plot as well. So you can see the aileron angle, or that would be the tail angle as well. You can see that it goes from 0 to 1 and then back again. So just find adjustments between its negative angle and positive angle on those limits. And you can see the pitch rate, the pitch, and the angle of attack there on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to close this one and just come and explain this just in a little bit more detail on the plot. Okay, so you can see here, this is our W value. Okay, that's our tail. That's the thing that we can control, our manipulated variable. And then the final conditions, that's where we want to get all of these to a value of zero. And you can see here, this starts at a non-zero value. So it's a sequence that as we adjust and bring that angle of attack down, that um, we see... A response on these other two variables as well. So you have a single actuator and there's three things that you're trying to control here with angle of attach, angle of attack, pitch, and pitch rate. But in the end they're all able to find this uh, final solution. And you can see it took about 4.9 seconds to achieve that. Now there may be some other optimal solutions. This might be just a local uh, solution and so you might need to use a global optimization approach in order to find an even lower solution so the gecko solvers are all local optimizers and there are a couple different approaches to this to be able to find a global solution one is to try different initial guess values and that can help you, you know, with multi-start methods uh, that can help you find a better value for the objective Okay, so I just want to share with you this uh, the code and the website for this as well. And also, um, 
here is the code if you'd like to access that and some additional information on Gecko, how to install Gecko, and some of the publication and references that uh, you can look out for further applications of Gecko. Here's some of the recent Gecko applications on Google Scholar. Uh, and you can see here's one, you know, just 42 days ago, unmanned aerial vehicles trajectory optimization in constrained environments. So there's some other references as well. If you'd like to see other Gecko op op uh, applications, okay? So for example, here's an optimal control problem for a generalized multi-rotor UAV and a much more complicated um, application here. And let's just see if we can find, okay, so software solutions. Okay, so uh, looks like there's some other great ways to solve this as well. All right, and they just cited the Gecko paper here as like one of the alternatives on how to solve these types of problems. Okay, so there are some applications there. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial on aircraft optimization and flight control using this model predictive control approach.